everybody, it's Barely Teacher. A lot of people uh, wonder what teachers do uh, when they have some time off. So I'm going to show you today what Barely Teacher is doing with uh, time off after parent-teacher conferences. Project one, change the water spigot. All you do is twist off. Pretty important to check and see that you get the right um, spigot. Obviously you can see the plastic on the edge because it's a sort of almost a flush mount and I did not buy a flush mount. Uh, project one, pause. So uh, project number two is in the half bath here. Um, the little doohickey handle here thing, um, when we flush it, let go of it, uh, it doesn't hold. Um, so going to fix it. I've already fixed all the in we have the new uh, updated kind of system um, with the really old handle, so I am going to fix this part, right? Replace it with the perfect fit toilet tank lever. So doohickey handle off. Got to take the uh, lock nut washer off here. So the entire um, assembly is off. Getting ready to put new on. So got the new handle on, uh, but as you can see, chain is here. Um, the housing out here to fit it is there. So I have to move this in, which is pretty nice that that's available. Right, and then just lift the chain up. Got the old one off, got the new one on. Beautiful. So uh, project two, Successful. Most important job when working inside the house is make sure you clean up your tools. It's good to clean up your tools. So uh, we're down here in the crawl space. You can sort of look around here. And uh, just got um, the sump hooked up. It's sucking up the rest of it. You can sort of see one how dirty I am and wet I am. So uh, down here in the crawl space, uh, just got officially done hooking everything up. Uh, I'll turn you over to submersible sump that I installed. Right, I changed the direction from a 90 there across and then up. It, what, it, what it did before is it went up and then straight across so there was all that bouncing. So I'm wondering if water was going through there is what caused the uh, the pedestal one to maybe fall over so that's a little bit nicer um, still it's good for they say um, like 4,000 gallons an hour or something like that um, at 10 feet so I'm only really going up here I don't know maybe two and a half three feet so pretty happy proud with the job it's sort of come down now about a good two inches probably been running for you know three four minutes um, so everything's working good. Um, that's the other submersible pump that we borrowed from my parents. Sorry, I think it's fried, so that's not going to be good. Um, but, you know, not a bad, not bad for an hour's worth of work. Something that probably um, would have cost a couple hundred bucks for a plumber to do. So, uh, if you ever need your sump work done, uh, let me know. I am now not an expert, but uh, I can help you. Uh, so Burley Teacher, signing out, project number three, done.
Hey guys, so Burley Teacher shout out of the week goes to uh, one very special student who was the first person to sign up for the World War One Survivor Challenge, Hannah Harmon. And also, big shout out to the Whitmer Pep Band. Uh, they sounded really good at the last basketball game I was at. So, Burley Teacher, out. <laughs>